What's up guys, it is the Muddy Puddle Squad here, and in this video I'm going to talk about my consoles with issues, and what it means to have a console with issues. So, now I notice I have the word broken on some of these consoles, ignore that, I, it should be the word issues. But before we get into today's video, let me just remind you guys, do not forget to click that big red subscribe button, because it really helps out the channel a lot, and you guys never miss out on future videos. So this Atari 2600... Um, again, it should say issues on it, and what it means to have a console that has issues. So this Atari 2600 is, in fact, working. You can turn, you know, it powers on and everything. But for some reason, it doesn't want to read the cartridges because there's an issue with this cartridge slot here. So when you put the cartridge in, there's an issue with that. Um, this Nintendo, <clears throat> it's the same exact thing. The console turns on. But all it does is just, it makes, like, this weird, like, like, staticky sound to it. I don't know what's wrong with it. And, uh, real quick, guys, I just picked up my third working NES today. If you guys haven't seen that video, please go check it out. And I picked up my second working N uh, NES last week. So, if you guys want to see that, go check it out as well. But I've had this one for about three years now, and it's broken. It doesn't work. I've tried fixing it. I don't know what's wrong with it. Um, so, and this game doesn't work either. So, I mean, it's... And you can still make money off of consoles with issues because even though I don't know how to fix this, there might be somebody out there who does know how to fix these consoles. Now this Sega Genesis, this works, except it is missing this piece right here and the reset button is broken. So this button right here is broken, doesn't want to work, but the console itself plays. And this game is broken, so there's nothing I can really do about that. And this PlayStation 1 right here, uh, this PlayStation 1 is missing some pieces. It is mi this little spindle thing, it's missing the little screws or the little bearings that keep it stable. And it just pops off super easily. And uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. But um, one thing I can tell you, well, by the way, I'm going to be using a Mass uh, Effect 2 disc because this disc is broken. I don't want to use a PS1 disc. But whenever you put the disc in there, it just takes it straight to um, the console dashboard without ever even loading up the disc. I have replaced the laser and that didn't solve the issue. So I have no idea what is wrong with this console. But uh, yeah, anyway, that's just talking about my consoles with issues, what it means to have a console with issues. Um, so technically all of these consoles work, but they don't work the way that they're supposed to. You can't really play games on them except this one right here. This is the only one that you can really play games on. Anyway, thanks guys for watching this video. And I will see you next time. Later.